a lot of work was accomplished on the Model T today. I spent about four or five hours with a wire wheel bringing it all down to bare metal. As you can see, it's all the whole frame is all the way down to bare metal. So tomorrow I'll paint it. And I just got done putting acetone on the whole frame. Now the paint we will be using is this Rust-Oleum Gloss Black Protective Enamel. We used it on the Model T in the background and it worked great. It's a very tough paint. It'll hold up. It's a good paint to use for a frame. And it'll turn out pretty nice. It'll, it might take a couple coats to paint it, but it'll look nice in the end. Now, another thing we're doing today is pressing out bushings. Some more bushings and we came across this leaf spring. As you can see, it's a little bent. That's okay because we have, have an extra right here. So that's not a big deal. So everything on the Model T is going along well. Now over here I have my wire wheel of choice. I like these for heavy duty work. Plus they don't fly apart into millions of little spears like these do. This is one worn out. If you use these incorrectly, you can burn one up in a couple minutes, but we'll use these to do the frame. One of these should do the frame pretty well. Let's get it most places and it'll be ready to paint. All right, everyone. My dad and I got the Model T all painted from the top to bottom. One good coat. Looks pretty nice. We're finally going the other direction with this project. Now we can start putting together the front suspension. I think is where we're gonna start. And probably the rear after that. I have to clean up the axle and the leaf springs, but we're making some good progress. Thank you for watching this video. And I finally thought of a name. Call it uh, the YouTube channel John's Clunker Cars, which we'll be working on some clunkers. Last time I was at home, I painted a lot of parts. I used Rust Oleum enamel, painted this wishbone. Turned out really nice. I used a brush. On these front leaf springs, I use that special graphite paint because when you put these together, we don't want the springs to squeak. And that's what it helps prevent. I used a brush for this also. And it turned out pretty nice. You want a good thick layer on there. Also, I painted the front axle parts, the tie rods. And they also turned out very nice. For brushing this on, it looks pretty good, I think. You can still see the Ford symbol in there. This car will look pretty nice once it's all together, so. Now later today, my dad and I will start putting in the kingpin bushings and reaming them out, and we'll show you how to do that. My dad and I got the whole front suspension put together. took us about a day day's worth of work but in order to get this done we had to ream these bushings for the kingpin the kingpin goes all the way through here held on by a castle nut and a cotter pin you have to ream them so the kingpin will slide in there just so nicely and then this You'll have to, what we did at least, we sanded the tops of these bushings to make the kingpin slide into the axle just perfectly. So now it turns just not real nice. It's a little stiff, but it's supposed to be in the beginning. We have new tie rod connectors here. And those have to be tight on the old car. That was all worn out. We put in oil caps. That's how you keep everything lubricated. You just drop some oil in there and 
that's in every single part of the front suspension that moves has an oil cap. Here's these nice springs. I'm cleaning up the spring uh, clamps right now, so I'll put those on. I forgot to paint that the last time I had the paint can open, so I guess I'll have to do that while it's on the car. And we left this a little loose for when we put the engine in, in case we want to move that around a little bit, because the engine has to be cradled right in here. That's where this part will sit. We also did this side. It looks pretty nice. I'm happy with how it turned out. And we'll get do the wheels a little later when we get wheel bearings and that. But this tool here is awfully helpful. But I think the next project is going to be this drive shaft, getting that all cleaned up. We'll put this on real quick, that doesn't take long. There's a new ball joint that'll go in here, just bolts on. The wishbone here was bent a little bit. Remember that leaf spring I showed you that was bent? I think that could have been part of that. I don't know. No one knows. But he certain, someone certainly hit something pretty hard with the car. But anyways, we'll get that all cleaned up. Then we'll start on this rear end here. We'll split it in half and get it all painted in new bushings and bearings, whatever it needs. This set here is actually my great grandfather's set of reamers that he used on cars or tractors, whatever he had to use. Can't read the brand anymore, but they're good. It's a good set, that's for sure. When you're using the reamers, you have to make sure that when you're using them, you have to go so slow and just take off little amounts at a time. Because if you take off too much, you'll have to start all over and press the new bushings and take the old bushings out. Now to press in the bushings, we use this press right here, 12 ton press and push them in and they go right in. So to sand down the bushings on the top so they would slide in. I just used sandpaper and held it on here flat and I counted the strokes I did each way and then I did it on the other side of the spindle too back and forth so they'd both be equal. So show you again. Thank you for watching everyone. John's Clunker Cars. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. A like and subscribe would help out a lot. Thank you, everyone.